Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you to find a rank of a matrix using echelon form. So let's see the definition according to this technique. Rank of a matrix is a number of non-zero row in a row echelon form or it can also be uh, st uh, discussed in a column form but in that case we convert it into column echelon form. So in my current discussion I would focus over the row echelon form. So let's see what are the steps which we can follow before declaring any um, matrix rank. The step one is convert a given matrix into row echelon form then count the number of non-zero rows which gives the rank of that matrix. So uh, if we have to take care of that what are the zeros and non-zero rows we declare any row to be zero if all the elements in that row are zero otherwise it is a non-zero row. So let's take an example here I want to find out the rank of a matrix using row echelon form. I've taken a 3 cross 4 matrix and uh, let's see what are the transformation because to convert it into echelon form or row echelon form we will use row operations. So here there are three rows and we are going to use them to convert it into echelon form. The first step is that in this case because there is a one way where it, by which we can follow to convert it into echelon form. So the first step is that I am going to uh, see that we are going to use this a11 number to make 1 and 4 0. So they are R2 and R3 entries. So the transformation or you can say operation is that in R2 we are subtracting R1 and in R3 we are subtracting 4 times R1. Now we can do these steps together because here we are fixing this row and you can use any uh, rows below it. So the first row is not going to change. It is same as it is. So I'm going to copy it. Now let's see this um, transformation activity R2 minus R1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus minus become plus. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. In this case we are taking the R3 and we are subtracting 4 times R1. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 4 it becomes 8. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9. And here it is 8 and we are subtracting 4 times 1. So 8 minus 4 is 4 here. Now we got that. Uh, still echelon form is not received reason being see there are various way to identify achieved or not uh, before non-zero entries of any row the number of zeros should not be same of the two rows it should increase at least one time increase or many time increase but it increased so here it's still we can convert this 9 into 0 with the help of the second row and there is a one more process that while applying the transformation once the row 1 activity is done we are not going to use it again now we are our job is with these two rows and we will see what we can do with it that as first row we are not going to use it it will be copied as it is and we are going to use the second row for in the third one so let's write the transformation in third row we will subtract three times second row so again second row is not gonna uh, you change because we are using it in the third one and we we'll see that r3 minus uh, 3 times r2 is 9 minus 9 0 minus 9 plus 9 is 0 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so we have received the echelon form because first of all we see that this part r is 0 below diagonal yes and uh, the number of zeros are all increasing so this one is non-zero row second is non-zero row third is non zero row. so this we get a rank three so this is the one prop let's see one more example i've taken here three by three matrix and uh, let's see how to find a rank using 
row echelon form transformation is the main part what to do and here again I am going to use this a11 entry to make 2 and 5 to be 0 so the transformation is in R2 we will double time subtract R1 and in R3 we subtract 5 times R1 so here R1 is to be used in R2 and R3 and the transformation we have declared let's do the activity 2 minus 2 becomes 0 1 plus uh, 4 so it is 5 2 minus 6 so it is minus 4 5 minus 5 is 0 minus 5 plus 10 is 5 and 11 minus 15 is minus 4 now we see that uh, we are not in a stage because we are using echelon form form for our declaration of rank so first we have to achieve it fully and here yet not achieved one more step is left because uh, this number can be zeroed using the previous one because a11 job is done now it is a22 job and a22 over here is this 5 and I am going to use over the third row so the first row let's copy as it is and uh, second row we are using so let's declare what is a transformation in the third row we are subtracting second row so 0 uh, this is 0 already 0 5 minus 5 is 0 minus 4 plus 4 is 0 so we got the echelon form because here this part this is this is this is a way by which we can at least ensure that did we achieve or not yes we achieved it and uh, number of non-zero row is the counting process this is a non-zero row this is also non-zero this last row is a zero row so we are not going to count it so rank of the matrix is 2 here now see one more example here I am going to um, it's a 4 by 4 matrix and we are going to use a uh, transformation means echelon form so let's declare the same process because we are going as per the technique and uh, this entry in of row 1 we will use to make 2 0 this 3 0 and minus 2 0 so with the help of the entry we are in a position to declare the operation in R2 what we will do in R3 what we will do in R4 what we will do and we are going to use R1 over here 2 can be make 0 with the help of 1 is if you subtract R2 double times R1 3 can be make 0 with the help of 1 if you subtract 3 times minus 2 uh, R3 is a minus R4 R4 2 so I should add double times R1 so let's write down because uh, transformation can be checked with the help of entries and uh, let's write down the entries 1 2 3 4 as it is uh, and we are going to apply the transformation 2 minus 2 is 0 4 minus 4 is 0 6 minus 6 is 0 8 minus 8 is 0 3 times so 3 minus 3 is 0 6 minus 6 is 0 8 minus 9 is minus 1 and 12 minus 12 is 0 last row here we are adding R4 um, with uh, double times R1 so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 4 plus 4 is 0 minus 5 and uh, we are going to multiply in a 2 so minus 5 plus 6 is 1 minus 8 plus 8 is 0 now if we see that what is the situation here in this case uh, can we say we have achieved rational form no because first part is whenever while doing this uh, operation uh, we we come across any zero row so the first task is write the zero row in the bottom so what is the perfect way I am not going to change the R3 I will interchange these two rows so my transformation is I will interchange R2 with R4 so let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 
this I am writing R4 here 0 0 1 0 here the R3 I am not changing at current moment and uh, the last row is the 0 row now let's see can I say I have achieved a echelon form no why because see this um, second row the non-zero entry is 1 and before I have a two zeros minus 1 before I have a two zeros so zeros should not be same it should increase when you go down so here this zero is not to be same unless and until see if all rows are zero then then there is no issue but if this is a non-zero row and before the first entry of that should not be same zeros so what I can do we can achieve one more step I can use this one to make this minus one zero so it is a second third row entry in a third row we can add R2 so let's see what entry will be the for th these rows are as it is second row I am using as it is third row we are operating so 0 will not do change because both are 0 0 minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and this becomes 0 last row is already the 0 row now let's see here um, this before 1 there are two zeros and after that zeros are increasing so we got a echelon form so the number of non zero zeros are 2 so rank of this matrix is 2 over here and uh, this way we can find out the rank of a matrix and I want to discuss one more question here one is is this question uh, it's very quick uh, what we are going to do is here I am observing every entry is same but how to convert it into echelon form so the transformation is very clear I am going to use this entry to make all these below entry to be zero this is my targeted what is going to affect in the later part by default it will give you the picture so in R2 we will subtract R1 in R3 I will subtract R1 and R4 I'll subtract R1 so let's see what happened here the first row with the five entry elements this is 4 by 5 and uh, that becomes all 0 this become all 0 this become all 0 work done because there is no more further calculation this is only one row so the rank of this matrix is 1 1 I hope you have understood thank you